What's up guys, uh, Preston here, um, making my first video, so I thought I'd make it on the top 5 baits that I used for 2011, since it's coming to an end, and they're not going to be in any certain order, this is just the top 5 soft plastic baits that I used, and started off with the Yum F2 Wooly Bully, watermelon red color. Um, I get one of these and this is out for you guys. But, as you can see, it's just a good pitching bait and a good bait for the And This one's all screwed up. But, uh, no, it's a great pitching bait. Extra bulky. Really salty. So you can see, I got salt all over me. But it's extra bulky in the back. So it's a little bit more durable. These pitches are really aggressive, way more aggressive than the, uh, the new Rage Cross. There. Oh, now I got salt everywhere. But, um. Then, also the other yum one. The yum F2 Patty Bug. It's just a big girl blue. It's got blue. It's like a really dark. It's like a really dark blue with blue and a red flake. But this is a great trailer. Especially since it is just a three inch, so it's actually really small. It's only like the size of my finger. But it's got like little pinchers or like fins, and it's got like claws down here. Just like the uh, Wally Bully has. But I use this on like the end of a jig. And I Texas rig these too. Just a little like two hot hooks. And these work really well, even weightless. These things have so much action, just weightless. But uh, back to the jigs, I put them on the end of the jigs, and it comes great action. Not really the big bulky jigs, but more the finesse lighter skirt to jigs. These work really good. Um, I don't know. I'll do all the cross first, and then we got the net bait. Pocket cross. These things work really well, but uh, let me get one out. You see here, guys? They're just like the Yum F2. Poppy Cross, but they are, have, they're like made of pork fat and like salt, but then they're like pork fat and plastic. So I don't know exactly how that is. I probably should look that up just to see the heck of it. But uh, in the Red Flake, as you can see, a lot of the ones I have, they're all Red Flake. Red Flake's a good crawdad imitator. Just the pumpkin colors and all that stuff with the watermelon and then the red flake works really well but these things got just a slow subtle falling action that works really good for pitching and stuff and so these worked really well for me this year and then I have the power bait 7 inch power worms and I just use the green pumpkin and like the motor oil colors those are the same just again just the simple colors. You see these things smell horrible. But uh, these were great, especially when it gets really hot out. Just Texas rig these things, or shaky head rig them. I shake the head rig these things this year. And no, they worked really great. We had about a period when it was about, oh, maybe 90 degrees, almost 100 degrees, where it was really hot. We just put you, like, toss these things right by the side of the weed bed, and they just come out and hammer them. And then. The last one, the Zoom Super Flukes, salty Super Flukes in all pineal color. And let me get my hat for you. So you see, just simple fluke. We texted through these things weightless and just twitched them. And they just slowly fall, and bass were just hammering these. I even fish these by docks. It's probably one of my baits that work the best for me all over, all year round this year so um, good great bait especially if you're fishing offshore this is a great bait to fish with and that goes then so those are my top five baits soft plastic baits for 2011 and thank you